Dr. Uh, uh, Hugh Ross, right? And he has a, a video out there of, of this. Are you really? Of a, of a fake, I, I am friends with Hugh. Yeah, yeah, I actually, yeah, I get along with Hugh. But here's the oh, thing. There's he, somebody he, I'd love uh, to debate. We can make that happen. He would be happy. Yeah. Uh, Hugh is a, you know what? Uh, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk about that because I, I, I actually like Hugh. Hugh has been very good to me. But here's the thing. I don't agree with him, obviously. But uh, here's the thing. Nephilim Free actually has a video of, of this weird hypothetical fictitious argument that he debated Hugh in his mind. And he's like, Here, here's how I debate Hugh Ross. And he goes through this long litany of how he would actually do it. Did in his he most debate bizarre Hugh comedy. in his mind? Did he debate Hugh yes. in his mind the same way that I slept with Jennifer Connelly in mine? Well, that probably had a lot more or, productive or value Tatum to it, mind. probably, in some ways. Yeah, at least that had utility. <laughs> what, what this guy, was, Netflix was saying was complete <laughs> bullshit. You know, his, his understanding of the Big Bang, his, 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 I swear to you, this was his crux of his argument. The Big Bang never happened because black holes don't explode. That makes that makes complete sense. Yeah. Uh, let that, let that, that just is, let, that just is let it sink in. Just let it uh, sink and, in. And uh, Hugh Ross was on here with a a a um who do, who did he talk to? Philip. Uh, oh, Doctor uh, Philippe Goyensho. Philip, Philip Goyensho. Yeah, yeah. Philippe, yeah, which was really good. Philippe. So um, while while we're stopped right now and we're talking about G Man and Nephilim Free, Dave, will you please put up Von Hilton so that Aaron can get a taste of? Um, How does he not know Von Hilton? I, he I, I, he so has to. Like I, I think he'll he'll recognize him when he sees him. Uh, but that's what go, the trolls and haters will do. They'll nitpick, all right? Nitpicking, I guess, is okay if that's what you want to do. But the simple truth of the matter is, is that I've been consistently wrong about ninety percent of the time, ninety to ninety-five percent of the time. I don't get all the facts right. That's true. But the the core of what I say is almost always true. And uh, like I said, about ninety percent, ninety-five percent. Somewhere around there, which is pretty damn good. <laughs> okay, Dave. Now, uh, now, Arn, I want you to I want you to to point out that he's sitting there in that in that gaming chair. In that's not a robe. That is a a warlock's cape, and he has the uh, the what is it the the pentagram, uh, like little yeah, rocket thing on there. Yeah, he's a pagan. He's a pagan too. He's okay. also a vampire. So I was a pagan old. once. But but he's a pagan that's only wrong about ninety to ninety five percent of the time. So, <laughs> oh, hey, he, have, he, I, he, he, hey, he has a rational wiki that's t- that's just unreal. It's hilarious. Well, again, it's he invented the stealth wiki. bomber. So, yeah, he invented the stealth hey, bomber. Hey, puppy. Okay, let's, All right, let's get through let's, this let's real quick. These, Steve, we're gonna him. burn through these. All right, let's do it. Jake Kershaw, two dollars. Steve, keep him going. This is funny as fuck. I agree with you. This is hilarious. Mister Cook Junior, two dollars. Especially you, Kyle Hart. Uh, Dave Dalla for another two dollars. Parsimony, Burps. alimony, burp. Uh, Sandring, twenty dollars. <laughs> Thank you again, to Sandring. I believe this guy is intoxicated or something. He's very incoherent. We're gonna agree with you on that one. No contest on that one. Uh, AC Castillo, two dollars. We're at thirty minutes and JK has not made an argument. We were at ninety minutes and he didn't make an argument. Um, so yeah, it never happened. Yeah. Uh, Mister Cook Jr., two dollars. Resume that I not making uh, an argument. No. No, but I debated some yeah. anonymous internet nobody who never said anything. You debated yeah, I don't know a, bu- we're a give Budweiser, you a forty ounce Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're going to give you this one, dude. I, 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 this might be just one of those gimme things. Um, Mr. Cook Junior's two dollars. Someone call inspiring philosophy, please. <laughs> I think we're going to we might might have him back on here soon. Uh, Nicholas Brand two dollars. He stepped to God. "Quote unquote, Arn, or parentheses, and his mind is scrambled." Yeah, I think what happened. You may have intimidated to the point, Arn, that he was just so yeah. in awe that he couldn't formulate a coherent thought, I, or he was shit faced. So that happened a lot they're, in the Bible too, didn't they? Say that like, like the people could not be, they couldn't um, see the, the face of something. God or something. They trembled in His yeah. presence. So I mean, except there's something for the to seventy it? Dal- people. Except for the seventy people that the Bible says actually did see God face to face. Are you saying there's contradictions the Bible? There's the contradictions the Bible. There's no way. Get yeah. out of here. Stop that crazy talk. <laughs> Dave Dalla for two dollars. This is a DUI PSA. A Sandring, another twenty dollars. Hey, Thank you. And he's rude. <laughs> he's like, hey, and he's yeah, rude. Uh, hey, Dalia Arn. For, <laughs> Dalia for uh, gave me a lot of useful information on uh, on, on on my current uh, quarry. As it mm-hmm. were, and I'm gonna, yeah, he he gave me Dave a lot of video footage. That, yeah, 
that I'm going to be. He gave yeah, me a Dave, Dal- Dave Dallifer does his research. Yeah, Dave Dallifer does, yeah, it, does his due diligence. He's yeah. given me a number of, uh, of of resources in video of, of things that I would have never seen Hovind say if Dahlia Four hadn't That's shown. Dave. And my favorite bit, my favorite bit is Hovind admitting that he runs this ministry so that he doesn't have to have a real job. I think I've heard him say that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, you know that's not even surprising to me. I think that's a that's a, a lot of motivation for why people in that you know that field do what they do. I think that's a, um. I mean, to me, it's more work. I, to me, it'd be more work keeping up all of that lying because he obviously knows what he says is demonstrably false. So he has to actively wake up and lie constantly, time, day after day, hour after hour, it's minute after minute. Bullshit. Although, There's people well, he doesn't who don't do that have very a problem well. with that. And I don't want to mention anyone whose name begins with T and whose name rhymes with rump, but there are people who, who lie so (laughs) carelessly and so casually that they don't even realize that they're not supposed to lie, who actually brag about lying and brag about what a good liar they are. I stand corrected. That is is correct. They do well. I'm not specifically referencing a guy whose name with T begins with T and whose name rhymes with rump. But we, <laughs> we do have somebody that nah. does brag about what a great liar he is, who fits those criteria. Well, I mean, um, Riley S says Terrence too. Rump. Is it Terrence Rump? <laughs> all right. With all due respect, he is a good liar. He, he that is one thing he does exceptionally well. Give him some props for it. it he he okay, does it really well, poorly, but he maybe, <laughs> I don't I don't know how he manages to convince. I don't him, even know if he does it well anymore. He actually doesn't even do it well. Yeah. yeah. He, he just does through. it a lot. Yeah, it's, this yeah. is the show. The, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, this is the guys. This is the stream. Like we 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 appreciate your super chats, but they just keep they just keep coming in. We got to get through um, these. And can I just burn through them? Yeah, real quick? Have, I got to give us a. a okay, we love I you guys. Can't the super chat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna Kyle Steve run through them as quick as you can. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Uh, Klaus again, $2. Thank you. Don't waste your beer, Aaron. This was not a waste. I think Aaron enjoyed this, hopefully. A Sandring, $5. P.S. The Nun is kind of creepy. Creepy, but cool, but creepy. I agree with you. It's creepy, but it's cool. Uh, Fractured, uh, $3. Kyle, good prank. Now bring on the real guest. This was not an April Fool's thing. L- listen, you're not the only one that feels like they're getting pranked right now. I promise you. Yeah. Milwaukee's a- Milwaukee Atheist. Hey, buddy. Uh, $2. Aaron needs more Captain Morgan Cannon Blast. Dude, that sounds pretty good, actually. Gosh, I wonder that. what individual that could be. Could oh, it yeah. be an adopted <laughs> son of mine, I think. Yeah, oh. you know what? There's a family resemblance there, by the way. There really is. It's almost scary yeah. uh, between you guys. Uh, Gerhard, Gerhard, 10 uh, pounds. I'm afraid Jason is just generally confused about anything due to his age. Hey, he's about to find the same age as me. We're not that confused. I ran to a guy like this before. This, had one, this one had been a very respected guy for decades but lost his mind tragically. No, I just think he was inebriated or something. Klaus, five yeah, more dollars. I, I wish that, that somebody was, would share this with Jason, that I had no objection to him. Kyle, I know, had no objection, or we wouldn't have scheduled all of this. He wouldn't have invited him. The three of us together wouldn't have asked him to continue talking to give to, to express his point. The man came here not just unprepared, he came here impaired. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's the only problem. Yep. And we gave, yeah, we uh, we gave him every opportunity to uh, to fix that, you know, or, or to at least, that was, that was, you know. It was too he, late. He could have he could, what do you he, do? Yeah, that's true. But he, he, could have, he could have said, if, when I asked him, when I asked him, have you had anything to drink? He could have said, I back in yeah, I, I had a little bit be- beforehand. And well, I would have said, okay, let's honest. reschedule. Maybe he was being honest. He hasn't had anything to drink. He ate a bucket of, of, of muffins. What kind of uh, is muffin a, a euphemism for something? Because the muffins like, that say, uh, the Colorado that, muffins. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, even even you know even then, like I would be understanding in that sense, and because like I said, it's happened to me with the comedy. I would have just said, okay, you you got a little nervous. Let's let's talk about rescheduling it, but we're gonna stop right here. But he continued to try to press Faith on. No more. There was a band yeah, called Faith No More. And after they did the uh, the epic album, 
that was when I was introduced to them. I thought, oh, this is, I love this band. These guys are great. And then they did their, like their first live performance in a huge, uh, huge venue that was nationally televised. And the lead singer, who I loved, was totally fucked up. The guy could not perform at all. He just walked out over the stage and fell down. And it was a mm. disaster. And you know, that that's happened. Some that happened with a um a, a recently with a, a comedy or a, a country band. Oh, oh, uh, Toby Keith. They say Toby Keith now. You you can't go to many of his concerts because he he gets so drunk by the end of towards the end of his routines that he forgets the words of his own song. I I've heard that about yeah, the best country singers. Yeah, Loretta right. Lynn. Loretta Lynn was that, that was said about her. I love her. I love Loretta Lynn though. and Johnny Cash. I love Johnny Cash too. I love Loretta Lynn's sister. Who is that? You're not old enough, Crystal Gale. Yeah. Oh, was she? she? Yeah, I mean, brown eyes, blues. I know Crystal. Well, I know Crystal hair. Gale. Crystal. She had the hair down to the floor. Yeah, she, even even Christmas in six day. inch heels, her hair was still to the yeah. floor. But I didn't know that, I didn't know that she was Loretta 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 Loretta's sister though. Yeah, yeah news huh. to me. But I, yeah, I knew who Crystal Gale was, of course. Yeah, she was name. infamous for having like the longest hair in, in of any singer. All right, let's burn through these Klaus um, five dollars. That was Kent yeah, or UNT. Maybe... It'll go south immediately. Yeah, we'll be here like five <laughs> more hours. I think it means was that Kent or Cunt. <laughs> Uh, Milwaukee <laughs> atheist again. That was zero six forty five twenty seventeen. I can't memorize that number. The sad, the sad part is you have that goddamn number memorized now. You'll probably never forget it if your life depended on it. That's I can't. I I don't want to fill my head with that kind of not this nonsensical shit that I don't. I too many numbers to memorize anyways. You already fact, have too you much. Have this number, you're never going to forget that number now, Arn. You know that, right? It's stuck. It's permanently ingrained in your brain. Yeah, only for this month. And then and once I've destroyed uh, Hoven's ministry, then I can forget about him. Fair enough. Milwaukee Atheist again, $5. I will bet all the money I have that they're going to talk about the book of jo- Job at some point. Oh, well, we just you're did, wrong. So you Give us we that just money. Did, I just mentioned. Uh, and we didn't talk about it. I just mentioned it because you give a super chat for me to read it. But... I'm sure that I'll all right, my in- what? My Hoban debate, I mean, I'm sure that'll come up because Hoban likes to pull out the... That's not a debate, you know, dude. The, what you're doing is not a debate. He, you're, you're, you, first of all, you just give him information and all he does is bloviate. I don't consider that to be something that's like a debate. You're teaching, you're schooling, yeah. educating. I don't feel that Flint. way. I feel like that scene out of out of The Avengers where, where Loki said, you dull creature, I will not be bullied, and then the Hulk grabs him by his feet. <laughs> so someone has to superimpose your your faces on that scene. <laughs> I I honestly, when I saw that scene in the Avengers, I ver- I very nearly died. I laughed so hard I could not breathe. <laughs> that's good. That's going to be a thing now. That's going to be a thing. Is, now. is that when the Hulk takes? I think, it, no, I like the one the Hulk takes Thor and he just like slamming him back and forth. That's, that's no, not, not Thor. It's it's his brother Loki. Hulk Hulk grabs yeah, no, but wasn't Loki. Lo- no, but remember the scene. I, I thought it was Thor. He grabs, he, he Loki grabs by the ankles, so he's got Loki. Oh, is that what it, okay. and he's Loki. smashing his head into the floor? <laughs> yeah, yes, I remember the scene. But I thought it was Thor. Maybe it was Loki. I, I got you. Breathe. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's going to be a thing now. I couldn't. I couldn't bring oxygen in, and I was seriously fearing that I was going to die. <laughs> when is your When is your last video for uh, for this debate series going out? Oh fuck! I don't know. That depends. Whether Squirrely Ass will release the uh, the the other videos of, of you're going to have a mic drop. To me. You're going to have yeah. a mic drop in that last one. Yeah, he can't hide them. And you know the, the the sad thing is we've got a 65 year old man who can't figure out how to use any kind of uh, editing software to 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 cover up the the little uh, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants with a little anything. You know, I would put a flying <laughs> dicky bird up there, and you'd still get away with it, right? Uh, the, you know what? You know what? Though uh, I, I was thinking about this. You kind of know where he's gonna. Like you can already make, and I think you should do this actually, because it would be, be even funnier if you went ahead and made your rebuttals to him. Because you can literally go th- back through all of Kent Hovind's debates, and you can take out. 
Kent Hovind from debate one and Kent Hovind from debate two and swap them. And it's this, it, it'll be the, me, this. Somebody sent me a 